Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. I'm so glad you could join us for another wonderful Sabbath day. Let's clap our hands and sing, Sabbath is a happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. Happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Every year at about this time, God gives us a very special gift, spring. Spring is such a wonderful time of year. The grass starts to grow. The trees grow new leaves. Flowers grow in our gardens. The days get longer and we can play outside. Jesus loves us so much and he wants to give us these gifts. So when we see the flowers grow and the trees bud and the flowers bloom, we can think of Jesus and his love. Join me now as we look for signs of spring. We have a very special guest joining us today. Watch and see what kinds of spring they found in their yard. Hi, beginning of Sabbath school. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to all of you. We miss you and we wish we could be with you at Sabbath school. Today we're going to show you around our house and we're going to show you some of the signs of spring that we've been seeing. Here is Bennett. What sign of spring did you find? I found a dandelion. Look at these daffodils that are blooming in our flower garden. Some of them are fully open, some of them are only partway open, and some of them are still just buds that haven't opened at all yet. We also have right over here a rose bush, and you can see all the little leaves that have opened on this rose bush. It will start to bloom with flowers. God makes flowers grow in my garden. He loves me. God makes flowers grow in my garden. I love him. God makes flowers grow in my garden. He loves me. God makes flowers grow in my garden. I love him. Another sign of spring is all the birds that have come back after the winter. Some birds fly south for the winter to go to warmer temperatures. Bennett is filling up our bird feeder so the birds that are coming by can stop to get something to eat. Lise is also holding a pack of suet that we're going to put up for the birds as well. We just filled our bird feeder and our suet feeder so that the birds will have lots to eat when they stop by our backyard. We also put up a birdhouse and we're hoping that some bluebirds come and make a nest in here. Little birdie in the tree seems to sing this song to me. Jesus loves and cares for me. So I sing so happily. Little birdie in the tree seems to sing this song to me. Jesus loves and cares for me. So I sing so happily. The weather in the spring is getting warmer and we can play outside. What do you like to do outside? I got a picture this week from one of our Sabbath school friends. She likes to play outside with her sister. They're drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. Have you ever done that? It's fun, isn't it? Yes. Oh, she sent me another picture. She likes to go for walks. She takes her big dog for a walk. Do you like to go for walks in the spring? Oh, she also likes to explore outside. She found a pine cone. Oh, there are so many wonderful things to see and to learn about in spring. Thank you, Jesus, for making spring. Another very special thing about spring is that many animals are having little babies in the spring. I have a friend I want you to meet. He lives far away in Idaho, and he had some brand new baby bunnies at his house. Hi, my name is Andrew and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my two rabbits. About my um, five rabbits, except I've only got two right here and they're acting up. And Can you tell me about the mother? Well, 
Well, she is an albino, which means that she has pink eyes and she's all white. And if you look closely, she's got pink claws, except right now she doesn't know what I'm showing you. How many babies did she have all together? She had seven. Seven babies? And how old is this little baby? Well, they were all, um, right now they're all, this one is four and a half weeks old. Thank you, Jesus, for giving Andrew those adorable baby bunnies. Boys and girls, we're going to play a game. This game is hopping like bunnies. We're going to pretend that we're bunnies. Show me your bunny pose. <laughs> All right. Now, when you hear the singing, you're going to hop like a bunny. Show me what a hop looks like. Very good. When you hear this sound, it means freeze. When the music starts again, you start hopping. Let's give it a try. Little bunnies hop, hop, hop. Their long ears go flop, flop, flop. They have eyes so big and bright. Jesus made the bunnies right. Little bunnies hop, hop, hop. They have eyes so big and bright. Jesus made the bunnies right. Many baby animals are born in the spring. It's the perfect time of year. It's warm and everything seems to be coming alive. This picture shows a baby horse who was just born. Its mommy is taking good care of it. And the baby horse is really enjoying the spring, isn't he? He's running and playing and mommy's watching out for him, just like your mommy watches out for you. Well, boys and girls, I would like to talk about one more animal today, and that is this little chicken. In the springtime, you think of little baby chicks. Well, I want to talk to you about that today. Jesus lets the mommy chick know that this is just the right time to lay an egg. And so she does. She lays her egg and she sits on it and keeps it nice and warm. Quack, 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 quack. We hear the chicken say, quack, 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 quack. She laid another egg, quack, 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 quack. Dear Jesus helps her say, quack, 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 quack. He helped her lay an egg. Inside this egg, God is making a miracle happen. There's a little baby chick growing right inside. And as that baby chick gets bigger and bigger, pretty soon there's not enough room for the chick to be in the egg. So God lets it know it's just the right time. It starts to wiggle and squirm. It starts to peck. And pretty soon the egg starts to crack and out pops a cute little baby chick. Look how tiny and fluffy it is. And you know what? This baby chick is glad to have Mama Hen. Mama Hen takes care of chick. When Mama Hen says, cluck, 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 baby chick knows that it needs to come and hide right under mommy's wings where it's safe and sound. Boys and girls, we're going to play a game. We're going to pretend we're the baby chick and the mama chick. So get your mommy to play. Mommy says, cluck, 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 cluck. And when she does, the baby chicks say, beep, 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 beep. And they come running. They run to the mommy and mommy hides them under her wings, safe and sound. Let's try our game, okay? When a mommy says, cluck, 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 cluck. Who comes running? Who comes <laughs> running? When a mommy says cluck, 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 all the little chickies come running. Hi, boys and girls. It's time for our Bible story. Get your Bible books ready. We're going to open our Bible books and read. I open my Bible book and read. He loves me. Our story today is about a lady named Ruth, but let's back up a little bit. It actually begins 
with someone named Naomi. Now Naomi and her husband had two little boys and they were a happy little family. But there was one problem, one really big problem. They were hungry. When you're hungry, maybe you'll have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But do you know what happened? They started to run out of food. The grain wasn't growing in the fields and they had to worry about what they would eat. Where would they get their food? Naomi and her husband began to think, we need to go somewhere where food is easier to find. They heard that in Moab, the food was easy to find. There was lots of food growing there. So that's what they did. Naomi and her husband and her two little boys moved to Moab. They were happy there. The two little boys grew up and they got married. They married two very nice ladies by the name of Orpha and Ruth. Yes, this is where Ruth comes into the story. And Ruth and her husband and Orpha and her husband were very happy. Naomi and her husband were very happy. But then something happened, something very sad. Naomi's husband died. Orpha's husband died. And even Ruth's husband died. What were they going to do? They were so sad. Well, Naomi started thinking about her old home. She thought it would be so nice to go back to my home, back to Bethlehem. It would be nice to be back where people worship God rather than idols. I think I'll go back home, thought Naomi. So Naomi got ready to go home and Ruth and Orpha were going to go with her. But as they started on the journey, Naomi began to think, you know, these two girls, I love them so much, but they might be happier staying here in their own country. This is where they're from. So, so Naomi talked to them and said, why don't you stay here? Maybe, maybe someday you'll even get married again. They thought about it. Orpha decided, yes, I think I'll stay here. I like my own country. But Ruth said, no, I'll go with you, Naomi. So they continued on their journey. After a while, Naomi said, are you sure, Ruth? Maybe you really do want to stay here. It would be nice to stay where your friends and your family are. And you know, at this point, Ruth said something beautiful. It's actually our memory verse for this week. Um, she told Naomi that she wanted Naomi's people to be her people. She told Naomi, I want your God to be my God. Ruth had given her heart to God. She didn't want to worship idols anymore. She was excited, just like Naomi, to go back to the country where the people worship the true God, the living God in heaven. So they kept going on their journey. And when they got to Bethlehem, it was so nice to be home again. Naomi was so happy. And you know, before long, Ruth had gotten married. She married a wonderful man named Boaz. And you know what? Ruth and Boaz had a baby boy and life was pretty good. And you know, many, many, many years later, through Ruth's family, baby Jesus was born. Aren't you glad that Ruth chose to love and serve God? Let's bow our heads and we're going to pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the story about Ruth and Naomi. Please help us to always choose to love and trust you like Ruth did. Amen. When Ruth loved and trusted God, God blessed her and a lot of wonderful things happened because of her love for God. And I hope that you can do that too. Are you ready for your memory verse? Your memory verse this week says, your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Can you say that with me? Let's break it up into little parts first. I'll say one part, you say it back to me. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. That's right. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. All right, let's do it one more time and we're gonna do it all together. Your people shall be my people 
and your God, my God. Ruth 1, 16. Thank you for joining me today for our Sabbath school. I enjoyed learning about spring. I am thankful for God's gift of spring. I'm thankful for the new life that he gives us. And I'm thankful for Easter that reminds us of our new life in Christ. You guys have a wonderful weekend. If you'd like to send me pictures, I'd like to put them in our program. Have a wonderful Sabbath. Bye-bye.